Of their dreams and pictures like me And the radio Test, 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 test Oh, I see songs I see the love in my mom's eyes Feels like I'm so for sure Yeah, you know my mother's love I just have a picture.
I feel the master. I feel the master. <laughs> Good afternoon, Good afternoon. Welcome, welcome to Banks High School. School. We're, We're still, still working, working on some of the uh, technical, technical issues, issues we had last game, game with our echo. We, we hope that's been, been corrected. The umpires are at home plate, plate meeting with Banks head coach Joe Baumgartner. Yeah, Luke Carlton's manager is yet to come out onto the field as the teams get ready to exchange lineups. Taking a look at the starting lineups first for the visiting Yamhill Carlton Tigers. Number two, Parker Davis will lead off hitting at shortstop. Number 13, Kyle Slater at third base will hit second. Sebastian Hacker playing left field hitting third. Tanner Hurley starting pitcher will be the cleanup batter. Number one, Caden Sutton. Playing at second base, number 14, Brody Quick in right field. Number 11, Liam Hines at catcher. Number 4, Lucas Long in center field. Number 10, Gus Brunner at first base. And number 5, Mason Bartlett. Number 19, Jared Marshall. Number 15, Ben McAllister. Number 9, Tyler Pond. And number 17, Nicholas Titular. The rounding out the roster for the... Tigers defensively for the Braves, starting pitcher Jackson Van Dong, he will not hit. Catching number 10, Ashton Crossan at first base. Number two, Luke Bigsby playing at second, Lane Gilbert. Shortstop, Wyatt Hesselman, he's a good one. Uh, good chance he will be defensive player of the year, offensive player of the year, could even be pitcher of the year 
and 3A District 1, likely also to be first team all state. At third base, number three, Justin Walters in the outfield, left to right, number five, Chris Medina in center field. K Long in right field, Wyatt Jackson, Cale Jansen, and Lincoln Holscher are your two players off the bench for the Braves. Just about set for the opening sportsmanship introduction. Then we'll get to the starters for both teams. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's OSAA 3A baseball contest between the visiting Yamhill Carlton Tigers and today's home team, the Banks Braves. Before we get started with lineups, we'd like to remind you that each of us is here to either compete in a sporting event or to support those who are, an event in which the rules apply equally to everyone, designed to ensure fair competition, encourage sportsmanship, and bring out the best in each participant. On the field, the officials enforce those rules and assess the appropriate penalty when they are broken. As fans, friends, parents, and members of the Banks community, we now have our own rules designed to ensure and encourage an atmosphere of safety, tolerance, acceptance, and respect for all of us. We call it being a star, and it means not threatening or ridiculing anyone in attendance based on their race, gender, age, color, national origin, ethnicity, disability, sexual orientation, or religion. Violation of these rules will result in the appropriate penalty, including potential ejection from this and all future interscholastic events. Let's, make an, let's all make an effort to bring out the best in the students we're, We're here to support, support and in, in ourselves because, because greatness is hateless. Now let's meet the, the, the starters for both teams. First for the visiting Tigers of Yamhill Carlton. Leading off number two, shortstop Parker Davis. Number 13 at third base, Kyle Slater. In left field, number 21, Sebastian Hacker. Starting pitcher this afternoon, hitting cleanup, number 20, Tanner Hurley. At second base, number one, Caden Sutton. In right field, number 14, Brody Quick. Number 11 behind the plate catcher, Liam Hines. In center field, number four, not Cade Long, but Lucas Long. And number 10 at first base, Gus Brunner. Now let's meet the starters for today's home team, the Banks Braves at second base. Number nine, Lane Gilbert. Number 10, behind the plate catcher, Ashton Crossan. Hitting third at shortstop, number one, Wyatt Hesselman. Batting cleanup, number three, third baseman, Justin Walters. Playing in center field, also number four for the Braves, Cade Long. Number 19, designated hitter, hitting for starting pitcher Jackson Van Domlin, Blake Jewett. 
Number, Number five, five, left fielder, Chris Medina. Number two, at first base, Luke Bigsby. And number 20, playing in right field, Wyatt Jackson, against starting pitcher number seven, Jackson Van Domlin. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you please stand and remove your hats for today's national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proud Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting. Thank you. Play ball. Okay, I can. If you have a picture of it, I can. The dark colored sedan with what? Okay. If you're driving a dark colored sedan with Washington plates, your lights are on. Also, a $20 bill has been found along the outfield. If you think it may be yours, you can come to the concession stand. Thank you. Uh, uh, I, I think so. Uh, And we're just about set for the first pitch. Jackson Van Dama on the hill for the Braves. Uh, pitch the middle relief in the 11 1 win over Tillamook here on Monday. Hard throwing, bulky right hander, a lot of power. Uh, can throw a mean fastball. And I think we are set for the first hitter of the game, leading off for Amil Carlton Parker Davis, shortstop. Leading off for the Tigers, number two, shortstop Parker Davis. Tigers in their road black uniforms, orange numerals with white trim, orange stripes along the ends of the sleeves and the neck of the shirts. First pitch from Jackson, uh, taking a little bit high outside for ball one.
Pitch is swung on and popped straight up. Crossing, making the catch on a knee up along the uh, first base on deck path for out number one. Now adding for the Tigers, number 13. And this one is belted to center. That's going to uh, get all the way to the wall on a bounce and a roll. The throw to second is not in time. And Daniel Carlton is in business with a one-out double. Batting for the Tigers, number 21, left fielder Sebastian Acker. So one out and a runner. At second for Emil Carlton, first pitch to Hacker is a cold strike at the knees, 0-1. The one pitch misses, one ball and one strike. Count is even to Sebastian Hacker. Top of the first inning, just underway. One out, runner at second for YC. Braves will be at North Marion Friday. And then our next broadcast at uh, Ron Tonkin Stadium. Pitch, pitch misses low and inside. Saturday's contest will be at 1 o'clock. Uh, we'll be on... The air on West Side's Greatest Hits.com and Utah, U, YouTube against St. Helens. Two and one the count. The pitch from Van Dolan. Long look at second. Pitches in the dirt. Three and one. Braves have. Well, they did trail in the game against Gladstone. Never trailed it. Other than that, they trailed twice against Gladstone. Three and two, the count is hat as uh, Hacker swings half swing on a pitch in the dirt. Pitch is swung on and missed. Big out number two for Van Dolan on a swinging strikeout. Batting Tanner Early, starting pitcher for the Tigers. Batting for the Tigers starting pitcher in the cleanup spot, Tanner Hurley. Van Dahlen look at the second pitch, uh, just misses a little bit low, curveball. The one out of Tanner Hurley, Van Dolan. Couple of looks at second. Runner goes about halfway, gets away from crossing for just a moment, but he'll keep Hacker at second. 2 0 the count for Brave starter Jackson Van Dolan facing his opposing pitcher, Tanner Hurley. A couple of great names for pitchers the last two games for opponents. Hurleman on Monday and her lead this afternoon. Pitch is swung on and missed, two and one. Braves in their home white uniforms, navy blue pinstripe, navy blue numerals with Vegas gold trim. Braves in navy blue cursive lettering with Vegas gold trim. Pitches lifted out of play off the first base side. It's gonna drift into the Tigers bullpen off the first, or uh, yeah, Tigers bullpen off the first base side. Count is even two and two and a big pitch for both teams early. Van Dolan gave up a one-out double to Kyle Slater for the Tigers. Pitches down in the dirt, three and two. Runner in scoring position for the Tigers early, but Jackson Van Dolan trying to battle back and prevent the run from scoring. Full count, two outs, top of the first. Pitch is a little bit upstairs, and he lost him. 
Now batting, batting number one, second, second baseman Caden Sutton. Sutton. Two outs for the Tigers, Van Dahlman. Hard throwing right hander, already two runners aboard on a one out double and now a two out walk, pitches up and in for ball one. One oh pitches. Belted sky high, should be out number three, and making the catch is Kate Long drifting to his left. A hit, two runners left, and nobody comes home to score after half an inning, no score. We'll be back after this 30 second break from Jason Bond Remodeling. Want to give your kitchen or bath a fresh new look? Jason Bond Remodeling has over 20 years experience fabricating and installing stone countertops and can upgrade your home with the countertops of your dreams without the dreamy price tag. They pride themselves on quality and customer satisfaction. They also offer cabinet installation and will do their best to beat any bid by 10%. Based in Washington County and will service most Portland area locations for quality kitchen and bath remodels, call Jason Bond Remodeling at 503-430-0145. Leading off for the Braves, second baseman, number nine, Lane Gilbert. Leading off the home half of the first for the Braves, second baseman, Lane Gilbert. Tigers got a one-out double last inning, or uh, top of the inning, was not able to come around and score. Pitch misses low and in. Ball one on the first pitch from Tigers starter Tanner Hurley. Defensively for the Tigers, Hurley at... Pitcher, catcher Liam Hines. First baseman Gus Brunner, pitch low and catches the outside corner though at the knees for strike one. At second base, number 13 Kyle Slater, shortstop Tanner Davis at third. Kyle Slater, pitch a uh, little bit up, two balls and one strike. Gilbert still yet to pull the bat off his shoulders. In the outfield, left to right for the Tigers. Sebastian Hacker, Brody Quick in right, actually, and Lucas uh, Long at center field. Believe the count is three and one. It's either three and one or two and two. Three and one is the count. Stirred the umpire, make the uh, designation, designation pitch misses. Pitch misses. Well, low and away for ball four, and the Braves have the leadoff runner aboard. Batting for the Braves, number 10, catcher Ashton Crossan. Braves are dangerous once they get on base. They've scored, they've had nine run innings each of the last two games. 
Crossing waves at a pitch. Uh, looked well off the plate. Just gets a piece of it off the end of the bat. 0 and 1. He'll one pitch uh, on the transfer on the steal catcher Lucas uh, catcher loses the handle one on one the count Liam Hines lost the handle on the throw to second so now Lane Gilbert in scoring position nobody out on one on one count for the Braves. And this one is going to be butted uh, straight back out of play over the top. One ball and two strikes. One and two the count. Lane Gilbert at second after a leadoff walk and a steal. Just swung on, that's going to get through the gap, and drop on, it gets past the left fielder, that's going to score Lane Gilbert on a, uh, probably call that a single and an error, crosses his second with an RBI, and the Braves have a one to nothing lead early in the bottom of the first. Batting for the Braves, shortstop number one, Wyatt Hesselman. Still no way out for the Braves. Wyatt Hesselman at the plate. Throw back to second uh, on a time. Again, Wyatt Hesselman the hitter. one nothing Braves in the bottom of the first. Expecting this to be a much more competitive game than the last two for the Braves, which have both been 10, ten run victories. Pitches up and away for ball one. Runner at second is Crossing. Drove in Lane Gilbert, uh, last hitter. Pitches bounced to the outside of the plate, 2 0. Two balls and no strikes to break shortstop Wyatt Hesselman. Dangerous hitter, dangerous base runner. Pitches low, ball three. Wyatt had a home run in the 5 nothing opening game victory at Astoria. Crossing at second, a three ball count to Hessman. We'll see if he takes. Pitch is low and inside and... Crossing's gonna easily get to third. After the ball gets past the catcher, still nobody out now. Runners at the corners. Justin Walters, batting for the Braves, number three, third baseman in the cleanup spot. Justin Walters, and time has been called by Yamhill Carlton as they're going to go out and uh, meet with starter Tanner Hurley. Hesselman at first on a four-pitch walk. Braves just one hit in the inning. One hit, two walks. And first walk of the game, Lane Gilbert stole second, the next batter, and then uh, scored later in the at-bat for Ashton Crossan on a single that was turned into a double on an air. Much cooler this afternoon. Uh, rain is threatening, but 
overcast and drive the time being. First pitch is a called strike, and they're going to give Hesselman second base. Now both runners in scoring position. Still nobody out. one nothing Braves lead. Bottom of the first inning. Chills low and away in the dirt ball. One, one ball and one strike. One, one pitch. Swung on off the end of the background or to second. Only plays at first one out and another run will score for the Braves. So two nothing banks, one out. Batting number four, center fielder K Long. Batting for the Braves, number four, center fielder K Long. Two nothing Braves, one out, runner at third, bound up the third base line. Only plays at first, and now they're gonna. Uh, get the out first and run the plate will score if the catch has been made cleanly I think they would have had a double play to end the inning but Hasselman will score and it's now three to nothing great Attic for the Braves number 19 designated hitter Blake Jewett two outs pace is empty Ground, hard ground ball to the third. Nice uh, pick up on a hop and a reach across towards home plate for out number three as the throw to the first baseman is in time. But damage has been done. Three runs for the Braves on a couple of base hits. I think just two base hits. And after after one full inning, it's now Banks three and Yamhill Carlton nothing. We'll return with the top of the second in just a moment after this from Jim's Market. Jim's Market in Banks is an institution serving the community for generations. They're actively involved in events and athletics from the youth league to high school level. Let them serve you with their locally grown fresh produce, fresh bakery items, including custom cakes and quick hot food from their in-store deli. Jim's Market, conveniently located at the south entrance to Banks. And we're back, back top of the second, second inning. Braves a 3 nothing lead, leading off for the Tigers. Leading off for the Tigers, number 14, Brody Quick, right fielder. Three nothing Braves lead, top of the second. These two teams met, I believe, two years ago in the uh, 4A state baseball playoffs last year that Banks was a member of the 4A classification. Owen won the count first pitch from Van Donlin is catches the inside corner. That pitch bounces off the inner half of the plate pass, cross and one and one. One one from Van Donlin, just a little bit low. Two and one, back to back misses for Jackson to lead off the second. Pitch a little bit high, maybe inside, three and one. Yeah, Hill Carlton one and one after a loss to Staten and a 10-9 win at Astoria. He hits 
quick in the helmet with the pitch. So that's going to be a hit by pitcher and give the Tigers a leadoff base runner. That in for the Tigers, number four, or number 11, catcher Liam Hines. Runner at first, Jackson a little bit wild. To start the game, does have a three run lead though to back him up. Pitch is swung on, this could be two. Hesselman to second to throw to first in time for the double play. That's at least Hesselman's third double play of the season. He had two in the win over Gladstone. Now, now batting, batting number four, center fielder Lucas Long. First pitch, a called strike, 0 and 1. The one from Van Donlin, uh, breaking ball, never broke back towards the plate. This is well high inside. One ball, one strike. The 1-1 one one from Jackson, swung on, just gets a piece of it into the glove of Cross in 1-2. and two. One, two pitch, misses low, two balls and two strikes. Braves about scored their first three opponents, 31-6. to six. And uh, knuckled off uh, into the back cross and makes a valiant diving effort towards the back screen and unable to get to it. Count remains even two balls and two strikes. Again, all of the Braves' opponents so far have, well, until today, have been 4A. 5 nothing win at Astoria, 15-5 win over Gladstone, and 11-1 win over Tillamook Monday, and I think takes a little off the uh, heater off the outside edge, and the hitter for YC Lucas Long able to catch up to it, and a strikeout for Jackson Van Donlin to end the top half of the second. No runs, no hits, no errors. Actually, there was a walk, but uh, nobody left after the double play from Wyatt Hesseman on the 6-4-3, and after one and a half, still banks three, and the Tigers nothing will return in 30 seconds after this from Sarah Hesselman, Premier Property Group. Same great smile, same great service, but a brand new location and a great new team. Sarah Hesselman Group is still proud to support Banks High School Athletics, but has now joined the Premier Property Group real estate team with new offices located in Bethany. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home, contact the Sarah Hesselman Group, Sarah at sarahhesselman.com or call 503-313-0748. Leading off the bottom of the second for the Braves, number five, Chris Medina. First pitch from Tanner Hurley, breaking ball, a little bit high inside, ball one. Would really be surprised if this is not a, or I would really be surprised if this is a five inning game. Emil Carlton, uh, not expect, not expect this, this game, game to be a blowout. blowout. Swinging Swing. miss for Medina, Medina one ball and one strike. strike. Well, if we uh, see any precipitation, could be a five inning contest. Regardless, pitch misses well outside off the end of the glove of catcher Liam Hines, two and one.
Two one pitch from Hurley uh, and Medina Golf's at one that's uh, would have been ball three if it gets a piece of it. Two and two. Two balls and two strikes. Nobody out. Bottom of the second. Leadoff hitter for the Braves. Left fielder Chris Medina. Count is even. The pitch from Hurley. Check swing. It's called third strike either way. Pitch was right there, but uh, couldn't pull the trigger. Out number one for the Braves in the bottom of the second. Batting number two, first baseman Luke Bigsby. Pitch from Hurley is belted through the gap for the, for the uh, big boy and uh, leadoff seer. One out single for the Braves here in the bottom of the second. Back and bottom of the order, number 20, right fielder Wyatt Jackson. Jackson showing bunt and pitch uh, gets away from catcher Liam Hines for a moment. Ball one, no threat from Bigsby at first. Outstanding lineman. It's remarkable with his size how he had a couple uh, interceptions returned for touchdowns earlier this season as well. Pitches flared off the first base side, one and one and one. Also starting post for Braves boys basketball this season, which just avoided a trip to the state playoffs. Pitches low and in the dirt, two and one. Wyatt Jackson turns on one inside out off uh, one, of the, one of the supporting posts of the backstop, two and two. Two, two from Hurley, Wyatt Jackson, the Braves right fielder, the hitter, runner at first, first baseman, Luke Bigsby. She's, She's taken high, high for ball, ball three. three. Count, Count is full. Three-two pitch, swung on and belted. Sky high and making the catch for out number two. Center fielder Lucas Long. Two outs for the Braves in the bottom of the second. Top of the order, number nine, second baseman, Lane Gilbert. Gilbert. Three-nothing lead for the Braves, two outs. Bottom of the second. Pitch from Hurley, uh, ooh, curveball just apparently got a piece of the inner edge, 0-1, hooked inside. Early, a long look, trying to get the signal straight with his catcher. Pitches in the dirt. One ball and one strike. The one one from Hurley, low, ball two, back to back. Misses off the bottom of the strike zone. Hurley nods his head, finds his pitch, misses outside, throw back to first, not in time. Luke Bigsby, the biggest player on the team, really no threat to steal, but did dive back safely in the last pitch, and a late swing grounded back to the pitcher, Hurley, the throw to first, pulls. 
nearly pulls the first baseman off the bag, but able to keep a toe on it is Gus Brunner for out number three. No runs. Uh, a hit after Luke Bigsby's single to left, but he's left stranded to end the inning and a runner left. After two complete, still the Braves three and the Tigers nothing. We'll return with the top of the third right after this. Legacy Roofing can save your home from leaks, mold, and other issues related to an older roof, preventing future roof issues, saving you thousands of dollars. They use only the most trusted materials backed by an excellent warranty that is transferred if you ever sell your home. Legacy is tops in their field, earning the GAF Master Elite Certification and the Golden Pledge Warranty. For more information or to get a free quote, call 503-357-7663 today. And we're back, back ready, ready for, for the top, top of the third, third inning, inning, leading off for, for the Tigers. Tigers. Number 10. Leading, leading off for the Tigers, Tigers number 10, 10 first baseman, baseman Gus Brunner. Left-handed hitter to face Jackson. Jackson. First pitch is... A little bit outside, outside for ball, ball one. one. Braves a 3-0 three three lead, top, top of the third. Which is low in the dirt, 2-0, no, back-to-back pitches. That uh, both, both miss outside. outside. Uh, right, right there, there and his wheelhouse taken, taken all the way, way runner. runner. Now ahead, just, just two and one. one. Pitch just, just misses, misses off the plate, three and one. Looks like we may be starting to see some few, few light showers down on the field. Three one pitch from Jackson. Late call strike at the knees. Count is full, three and two. What a win this would be for Jackson Van Dahlen if he's able to come back and get the strikeout on this pitch. 3-2, misses well outside, ball four and he lost him again. The Tigers have a leadoff runner aboard. Batting number five, mate, or correction number two, top of the order, Parker Davis, shortstop. Runner at first. Uh, again, again, misses, misses outside, outside in the dirt ball one. Throw back to first, not in time. Throw to the bag was a little bit low in the dirt. Otherwise, I think he would have got the base runner. And Domlin looking over his shoulder, check swing. Line foul, foul off the bag at first, one and one. One one pitch is foul tipped into the glove, crossing. One ball and two strikes. One, two, ring him up on a pitch on the outside edge. Went about a quarter of the way, but pitch was right there anyway. Out number one for the Tigers in the top of the third. 
Batting number 13, third baseman Kyle Slater. Throw back to first, not in time. First pitch to Slater, swung on, and that's going to get through the gap for a base hit for the Tigers. And they're going to hold. Brunner at second. But the tying run comes to the plate for the Tigers. Starting pitcher number 20, or correction, left fielder Sebastian Hacker. Batting for the Tigers, number 21, left fielder Sebastian Hacker. First pitch is driven to left, and right there to make the catch. Chris Medina does not have to move at all, not even a step, two outs for the Tigers. Again, tying run comes to the plate number 20. Tanner Hurley, starting pitcher. Batting number 20, starting pitcher Tanner Hurley. Two outs, pitch is low on a breaking ball that started inside, 1-0. Pitch just misses the uh, right front corner of the plate, 2-0. May have, been a, may have been a little bit low as well as outside. Two outs top of the third grade is a 3-0 lead, but the tying run at the plate really can't catch up to that pitch. Two and one the count. Two and from Van Donlin misses downstairs, three and one, and one more miss, and Van Donlin is going to be in trouble. Braves do have somebody warming up in the bullpen, can't quite see who it is over the top of the dugout. Pitch is low and inside for ball four, and the bases are loaded. Do not see Coach Baumgartner coming out of the dugout yet. That number, number one, one second, second baseman, Caden Sutton. Sutton. Batting, Batting number, number 16, and a base hit here from the Tigers probably is going to score at least two. And a walk will score a run. Pitch from Van Dolan is well inside, ball one. The one out of Sutton, uh, kind of a half swing, hard grounder to third, throw to first in time, and that will do it. The Tigers will leave the bases loaded, and Jackson Van Dahlen gets out of the jam. After two and a half, still breaks three, and the Tigers, nothing, will return after this 30-second break from Banks Post. Banks Post newspaper is the official news provider of West Side's greatest hits. Listen hourly for West Side News from the Banks Post Newsroom. Banks Post I Newspaper covers Banks, Manning, Buxton, Roy, and surrounding western Washington County communities. If you'd like more information on the Banks Post and want to pick up a copy, visit a local business today. You can also visit their website at bankspost.com or their Facebook page, Banks Post. Banks Neither drink nor drug induced, no, I'm just doing all right. And it's a day. But why every day we 
Leading, leading off, off the Braves, Braves catcher Ashton, Ashton Crossan. Leading off the Braves, number 10, catcher Ashton Crossan. First pitch from Hurley to lead off the home half of the third is fouled straight back over the top out of play. The 0 1 from Hurley pitch is in the dirt. One ball and one strike. Graves have scored all their runs in the bottom of the first inning, including a first run that scored off of a double from Ashton Cross. Just swung on, turned down the third baseline. Throw across is in time for out number one. And this, and this game has that, that kind of feel like there may not be any more runs scored the rest of the contest. Wyatt Hesselman, the hitter. Hitting for the Braves, number one, shortstop Wyatt Hesselman. One out for the Braves. Pitch from Hurley. Low and away. Gets away from... Catcher Hines, ball one. And pitches outside as Crossan shows bunt two and zero. Two ball count. Curly the delivery. This is low and away, away off the plate as it bounces to Hines, 3-0. Three three ball, ball count, count uh, pitch to uh, late uh, called, called strike, strike taken all the way is crossing, 3-1. Crossing again, lifts the pitch straight back. Hurley has come back to work the count full after being well behind, 3-0, to Ashton, to, uh, not Ashton Crossing. Ashton Crossing was the last hitter. Wyatt Hesselman, the shortstop. 3-2 the count, the pitch from Hurley. Right-hander throws and took a little off it, and he fools Wyatt for round number two. At the, At the plate, plate for the Braves, Braves number, number three, three, third baseman, baseman Justin, Justin Walters. Walters. Two outs for Banks, bottom of the third, three nothing lead. First pitch from Hurley to Walters upstairs, ball one. One zero pitch, uh, low and off the plate, two and zero. Three seventy to straightaway center field for here at Banks High School. Three fifteen to the left and right corners. Pitch is swung on and missed. Two and one. Two one from Hurley, low and inside. Started well in off the plate, almost looked like it was going to hit. Justin Walters, three and one the count. Which is a little bit up and off the plate for ball four.
Number four, four center, center fielder K Long, the hitter for the Braves. Braves. Pitch just, just gets, gets a piece of it off the end of the bat, bat at the plate. 0 and 1. K Long, Brave center fielder, the hitter. The good one from Hurley gets away from the catcher, Hines, and Walters moves up to second. One and one count to K Long. Two outs. Three nothing Braves lead. Braves really only have about maybe two or three players that aren't a threat to steal. And this one gets away from Hines, but able to keep it in front of him as it scoots towards the third base on deck path. Two and one. Really looks at second the pitch. Oh, nice fastball. Tailing away, dropping out of the strike zone. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. If base hit scores a run, K Long lifts this one down the third base line. And making the catch is the left fielder coming up towards third base, Sebastian Hacker for out number three. No runs, no hits, no errors. A runner left, stranded at second after a walk to Justin Walters. After three completes, still the Braves, three, and the Tigers, nothing. will return in just a moment. Casey Ogden is a healthcare expert with more than 40 years in the field serving others and is college certified in nursing and healthcare administration. Her business, Casey Ogden Healthcare Services, offers everything you need for home health. From limited medical equipment, meal preparation, medication management, medical transportation, and more. Call 971-273-6058 or email caseyogden.hcs.llc at gmail.com. Leading off the top of the fourth for the Tigers, right fielder Brody Quick. A couple of great names for the Tiger lineup. Hacker, Hurley the pitcher, Quick. Pitch from Jackson, low and inside, ball one. Tigers had the bases loaded last inning, but two outs and were unable to bring a run home. Uh, knuckleball to third and throw to first a little bit high, but Walters does make the toss across to Bigsby for the 5-3 put up for out number one. Batting number 11, catcher Liam Hines. Uh, nice, nice fastball. Hines just, just gets a piece of it straight back to the bottom of the backstop. 
The one from Jackson. Jackson. Beautiful, Beautiful breaking ball. ball. Started up high and gets uh, down around, dropped down around the chest. Swinging uh, miss. May have just got a piece of it into the glove of Cross and 0-2. Two strike count, a couple of pitches to play with, he only needs one more. Jackson with a swinging strikeout on the third pitch of the at bat. Two outs for the Tigers in the top of the fourth. Batting number four, Lucas Long, center fielder. Pitch from Jackson, swung on, lifted well out of play off the first base side, 0-1. Batting center, center fielder number four, four Lucas Long. Long. Yeah, one from Van Donlin. Uh, First miss of the inning for Jackson Van Donlin misses high, but uh, throwing some great stuff here in the top of the fourth with two outs. One one. Um, oh, late call strike on the inner half at the knees. One and two. Van Donlin one pitch away from. Setting down the side and on hard ground to third. Walters the toss across. The throw is well high and lost. Uh, sailed that one. And Tigers are going to have a two out base runner on an error from Justin Walters on the throw to first. A rare miscue for this normally stellar Braves defense. Batting for the Braves, number four, the Tigers, number 10, first baseman, Gus Brunner. Runner at first, two outs. Tigers extend the inning on a throwing error from Gus, or from uh, Justin Walters. Pitch to Brunner, left-handed hitter is outside. And we're going to have a, a ball called on Jackson Van Donlin. So that's going to send Lucas Long to second. Correction here at the plate for the Tigers, Gas Bruner. It's, like it's, it's spelled B R U N N E R, which uh, in most cases is pronounced Brunner, but. Hearing uh, some Bruner from the YC fans, pitches bounced in the dirt, crossing can't find it, and now Long is going to be at third, 2 0 the count. To Gus Bruner. Pitch from Van Donlin, swung on and missed strike one. Tigers with a runner at third, down three nothing, two and one the count to Gus Brunner, the first baseman, two one pitch is low and outside, three and one. Van Dolan kicks and fires, strike at the knees, three and two the count. This crowd will erupt if Jackson Van Dolan records another strike to get out of the inning. 3-2 pitch, low and inside, ball four. And again, the tying run comes to the plate with two outs for the Tigers. And Crossan will have a discussion with Jackson Van Dolan to try to settle him down and Get him out of the inning just like he did last time. Tigers had the bases loaded though with two outs that time and got a fly ball to left. And now out comes Braves head coach Joe Baumgartner and that may be it for Jackson Van Dolan. 
Yeah, Van Dongen is going to come out. Three nothing Braves in the top of the fourth. Blake Jewett will take over on the mound for the Braves when we return. Top of the fourth inning, two outs. Braves still leading. Three nothing runners at the corners for the Tigers when we come back. Download the app and schedule today. Wow. Your turn. The power is back on. Shadow Rock. It's a... It's a buddy. Thank you. In the West Metro area, contact Mr. Electric of Hillsboro, 971-435-6507. Over for the Braves on the mound, number 19, starting designated hitter Blake Hewitt. Two outs for the Tigers, new pitcher for the Braves, designated hitter Blake Jewett. Three nothing lead for Banks, but pitches. Gonna be lifted foul, foul out of play, play. One, one. Parker, Parker Davis, Davis. Shortstop, shortstop the hitter for the Tigers. Lake uh, fakes, fakes the, the throw to first, first looks the runners back. back. The 0 1. Pitch is swung, and that's going to score a run just inside the line at third on a single to left. 3 to 1. Perez now with just a two run lead. Bad at third base from Kyle Slater. Pitch is lifted to right center, making the catch, racing over is Kay Long for out number three. But the Tigers do get a run back here in the top of the fourth. After three and a half, it's now the Braves three and the Tigers one. 
We'll return and take a 30-second break after this from Christy Van Meter. Your local lender, Christy Van Meter at Union Home Mortgage, is here to walk you through every step in purchasing your new home. Christy and her team bring trusted knowledge and years of experience to make your home loan financing process an enjoyable one. If you're in the business or have questions about purchasing or refinancing your home, call Christy Van Meter at Union Home Mortgage, 503-327-5302, or visit uhm.com slash kvanmeter. Union Home Mortgage, official sponsor of the PBR. Union Home Mortgage promises cap. Christy Van Meter is licensed in Oregon, 1700271, Washington, MLO-1700271, in Arizona, 1039867, Union Home Mortgage is an equal housing lender, NMLS number 2229. And we're back, bottom, bottom of the fourth, fourth inning, leading off the Braves, new pitcher Blake Jewett. Leading off the bottom of the fourth for the Braves, new pitcher number 19, Blake Jewett. First pitch to Blake. Uh, beautiful breaking ball started up high, 0 and 1. Sun's starting to peek out a little bit from uh, off to the southwest. Off the left field corner, over towards the football field and track. Pitch is curveball. Very close. Didn't miss by much. Started inside. May have not got enough of the. Inner half of the plate, one and one. One and one from Hurley, low and away, two balls and one strike. Two one pitch over through it to down and in. Hops off the plate away from Hines. Three and one. Three one the count to Braves. New pitcher for the Braves, Blake Jewett. Uh, Late called strike on the outer half. Count is full, three and two. Pitch is swung on, drop ball. Nice pitch that time, here the smack of the glove. One out for the Braves in the bottom of the fourth. Batting number, number five, left fielder, fielder Chris Medina. Medina. One out, first pitch to Medina is low in the dirt ball one. Hurley just, just outside, outside. One, one ball and one, two, two balls, balls and no strikes. strikes. Pitch is chopped foul off, off the plate. plate. Two, two and one. Two one pitch to Medina, strike two call, right across the plate, and couldn't do anything with it. Two 
Two two from Hurley, Hurley well, well outside. outside. Count is full. Three, three balls and two strikes. strikes. Three two, two swung on, on and that's going to be uh, lying to the edge, edge of the grass at second. At second. Uh, Edge of the, the outfield, outfield grass, grass, I should, should say, on number two. two. Pitch is low and inside, inside over the head of Luke Bigsby, Bigsby ball one. Batting Back for the Braves, Braves first baseman, Luke, Luke Bigsby. Bigsby. One and all the pitch from Hurley. Wide, Wide strike zone, zone this afternoon. afternoon. That's, That's the second, second straight hitter. He's called the pitch that far up. That far out. A strike. And it led, led to a strikeout for Blake Jewett. Pitch is swung on, lifted straight up. Off side of the infield. Third baseman makes the catch for out number three. Braves again. Are set, set down, down in order after the catch, catch from Kyle, Kyle Slater on the pop fly from Luke Bigsby to end the fourth. Top of the fifth inning we go. Banks three, Emil Carlton one. We'll return in 30 seconds after this from La Hayes. Proudly serving our neighbors in Washington County since 1946, La Hayes is your destination for locally made Letterman's jackets, custom embroidery for business apparel or a unique gift, and scouting uniforms and supplies. La Hayes is on the corner of 3rd and Main in historic downtown Hillsboro. Open Wednesday through Friday, 10 to 6, Saturday, 10 to 4, and anytime online at lahays.com. Or call us at 503-648-2341. Screaming, baby, letting go of you don't want that on your soul. I said a man is gonna die tonight. I'm chasing tears. Streets of profiles, I'm just a stand up country hero. Shotgun, but it's right, shotgun, and we're both fixing to walk the Lord. Getting off the top, top of the fifth, fifth for the Tigers, Tigers starting picker, left, left fielder, Sebastian Hacker. Hacker. Getting off the top of the fifth for the Tigers, left fielder, Sebastian Hacker. Tigers with a little bit of momentum after pulling within two runs. After, After a two-out single, single to the left, left from Parker, Parker Davis. Davis. New, New pitcher, pitcher for the Braves, Braves number one, one Wyatt Heslin. First pitch to Hacker is... I think grounded off of his foot, 0-1. Blake Jewett lasts just, just an inning and a third. In relief of Jackson Van Dalen, the 0 1 from Wyatt is low and inside, 1 and 1. The 1 1 to Hacker swung on, hard grounder to left. Walters the throw. Grounds that one. Pounds it into the grass, but able to get it to Bigsby for out number one. Bigsby 
That starting, starting pitcher, pitcher number 20, 20 Tanner, Tanner Hurley. Hurley. Pitch to Hurley. Nice pitch. Uh, off speed on the inner half. 0-1. The 0-1 from White. Up and in. Ball one. One ball and one strike. Hard ground ball on a pitch low. Moving from second to shortstop, number nine, Lane Gilbert. And home plate umpire came out to have a discussion with uh, Wyatt about something. One and two, the count to Hurley. One, two is taking a little bit outside. Count is even two and two. Nice fish swung on and missed. Drop the throw to first is in time for out number two. Now playing, playing a second, second base for the Braves, Braves Chris, Chris Medina. Medina. Batting, Batting for, for the Tigers, Tigers number one, Caden Sutton. Sutton. Pitch from White, so right, right down, down the shoot, no one one. Pitch from Wyatt, uh, nice fastball late, called strike on the outer edge. 0 oh, 2. A swing and a miss, strike three. Wyatt Hesselman does not allow a base runner in the inning. The Tigers go quietly and end the top of the fifth on a swinging strikeout. After four and a half, it's the Braves three and the Tigers one. We'll take a 30-second break and return after this from Main Street Pizza. Visit Main Street Pizza in Banks, located next to Jim's Market for the best pizza in Washington County. From loaded hot baked subs to a Main Street special pizza piled high, we will satisfy your pizza cravings. We've been serving and supporting the Banks community since 1986. Open daily at 11 a.m. Call ahead now to place your order at 503-324-5858 or follow us on Facebook to see our daily lunch specials. Mention this radio ad and receive $2 oh, off any Main Street pizza. A pair of jeans that fit just right. And the radio Leading off the bottom of the fifth for the Braves, number 20, Wyatt Jackson. Leading off the bottom of the fifth, number 20, right fielder, Wyatt Jackson. First pitch hits him. Yeah, 
Restarting the order for the Braves, number nine, now playing at shortstop, Lane Gilbert. Runner first by Jackson. Braves a 3-1 lead first base runner. They've had in quite some time. Hurley's really settled down. Up until that time, he hit Wyatt Jackson. Time called by Gilbert. Jackson with about a two to three step lead. Gilbert shows bunt, which I think is low, ball one. Hurley, it's over his right shoulder at the runner at first throws. Jackson is back in time. This time Hurley fires to the play again. Misses this time well outside on another bunt shown by Gilbert 2-0. Braves trying to do everything they can to maybe manufacture another run or two here late. Get in the second half of contest. First time Braves will see a game extend past the fifth inning. In the last two games, which is showing but that time will be missed for strike one. Two and one the count to Lane Gilbert. Nobody out after Wyatt Jackson was hit by the first pitch of the inning. Two one is bounced to the plate. Three and one. Gilbert well ahead in the count. Three one with Wyatt Jackson at first. Taking all the way. Count is full. Three and two. Now that will take away the bunt opportunity for Lane Gilbert. Nobody out. Wyatt Jackson at first. Hurley fires to the plate. Well inside. In fact, it did hit Lane Gilbert. Either way, he was going to be aboard. Now nobody out. And uh, I think the pitching coach for Emil Carlton is going to come out and have a talk with Hurley. He may be getting tired. Batting for the plate, or uh, batting for the Braves at the plate, number 10, Ashton Crossan. Tigers do not appear to be making a pitching change at this time. Batting for the Braves, catcher number 10, Ashton Crossan. Bottom of the fifth, 3-1 Braves lead over Yamhill Carlton. Potential early season potential playoff. Preview, slow grounder is going to get through the gap. Ashton's got his second RBI of the game, maybe three. Uh, scoring is number 20, Wyatt Jackson, to put the Braves up 4-1. Designated, Designated runner at first for Ashton Cross and number 18, Kale Jansen. That ends the Braves, number one, shortstop Wyatt Esselman. So still no outs in the bottom of the fifth. Braves with an RBI from Matt with uh, already run scored with Ashton Crossan's second. Runs batted in. Runners at the corners. 
Anything, Anything but, but a strikeout, strikeout should, should score a run. run. Pitch is a little, a little bit inside, inside ball, ball one. one. Pitch is swung on, it's smacked hard, hard to third, throw to second for one. Oh no! It got, got, it, it got, got away, away from the, the second, second baseman. <laughs> Hey, I, I think, think he was thinking, thinking about, about the double play early, tried, tried to transfer on the throw to first and lost the ball before he tagged second, so still nobody out, and it's now five to one on the air. Pitch is low in the dirt to Justin Walters, ball one. Batting third, third baseman, baseman number three, three Justin, Justin Walters. Walters. Braves, Braves with three in the first and now two in the fifth. An RBI from Ashton Cross and a run scoring on error on a... Oh, high off the pitching mound and that's going to allow Walters to score. Both runners are safe and the bases are loaded after just... Uh, A bizarre play. The ball took a funny hop off the mound, jumped about uh, 20 feet in the air before it could come back down. Justin Walters was at third. Bases loaded. Still nobody out. And a 5 nothing lead for the Braves. And that may be it for Hurley. Hurley is going to come out. And Braves bench, uh, pretty excited about that. They were able to get him out of the inning. And time has been called by, well, pitching change is going to be made when we return. Bottom of the fifth inning, Braves with two in the inning so far, 5-1. Still nobody out when we return after this. From Scott and Street Coffee. Whether it's a steaming hot old fashioned cup of joe or hot chocolate on a cold winter day, or an ice cold Italian soda or iced coffee on a hot summer day, any time is a great time to stop by Scoggins Creek Coffee. With two locations in Gaston and Yamhill Carlton, their warm and friendly baristas will get you the delicious drink of your choice. Scoggins Creek Coffee, call 503 985 3483. 503-985-3483. New pitcher for the Tigers, number 21, left fielder Sebastian Hacker. Still bottom, bottom of the fifth, fifth Braves a 5-1 lead following a pitching change by the Tigers, taking over Sebastian Hacker, the left fielder. Base is loaded for the Braves, still nobody out. First pitch from Hacker, misses low, ball one. Center fielder Cade Long, the hitter for the Braves. Just skipped to the plate, gets away from Hines for just a moment, 2 0. 5 1 Braves lead, 3 in the first, 2 here in the bottom of the fifth. Emil Carlton's only run came on a two out single to the left by Parker Davis in the top of the fourth. Just swung on and popped straight up. Uh, probably one of the worst things the Braves could have done. Runners will stay put. 
with now one, one out. out. And a double, double play, play gets, gets the Tigers out of the inning. inning. Batting for the Braves, number 19, Blake Jewett. Blake Jewett started as DH came in in relief of Jackson Van Dalman. Wyatt Hesselman on the mound currently for the Braves. Pitches up and away, ball one. Well, not currently, Andrew Carlton currently on defense, so they're pitching. Pitches. Low in the dirt ball, two, but. Current pitcher of record, I should say, for the Braves, Wyatt Hesselman. 2 0 count, pitch is swung on, and that's driven to uh, deep right center, and two runs are going to score. Three runs, uh, bases clearing double. It's now 8-1 to one in favor of the Braves with just one out after the double from Cade Long. Batting number five, left fielder Chris Medina. Correction, Blake Jewett with a bases clearing double. Which is a little bit upstairs, ball one. Pitch catches the outside edge at the knees, one and one. Ashton Cross and two RBIs. Blake Jewett with a three RBI basis clearing double. Here with one out in the bottom of the fifth. The difference in the game, late swing. From Medina, one and two. One, two pitch, swung on, grounded right back up the middle, rounding third. Jewett's gonna score, nine to one. Six runs in the inning for the Braves. And they're breaking this one open here in the bottom of the fifth. Six runs in the inning, exploding now for a 9-1 to one lead, batting Luke Bigsby. Did not expect this to be a 10-run game, but the way this fifth inning has gone for the Braves, that might be possible. Runner at first pitch is swung on, gets a piece of it into the glove of Hines, 0-1. Batting first baseman number two, Luke Bigsby. Potential game ending run at the plate. Throw back to first. Runner at first starts to go about halfway. Luke Bigsby swings at a high strike, 0 and 2. I believe last year was his first year playing varsity baseball. The 0 2 pitch uh, bounces outside, 1 and 2. Hacker. Right-hander fires and pitch is driven to uh, left. Oh, making an incredible grab is the uh, center fielder, Lucas Long, for out number two. Apparently out number three. So we head to the top of the sixth. Braves explode for six runs. 
And after five, it's now the Braves nine and Yamhill Carlton one. We'll return after this 30 second break from Specialty Screen Printing. Specialty Screen Printing in Yamhill offers your business the creativity and expertise to print your logo on a variety of items. Owners Ken and Linda Johnson have 40 years of experience on industrial parts and every type of material, including ceramic tile. Their fast service can have your project done in less than a week. Visit their website, SpecialtyScreenPrinting.com, to see for yourself how they can help you boost your company's marketing and industrial screen printing needs. Call 971-998-9274. Or visit their website, SpecialtyScreenPrinting.com. Leading off the top of the sixth for YC, number 14, right fielder Brody Quick. Leading off the sixth for the Tigers, number 14, right fielder Brody Quick. First pitch, nice fastball at the knees from Wyatt, 0 1. The 0 1 pitch, check swing, uh, ruled strike two. The 0-2 pitch, strike three, cold, ring him up on the fastball on the outer plate. Out number one for the Tigers, batting number 11, catcher Liam Hines. Batting number 11, catcher Liam Hines. First pitch just misses ball one. The one out from Wyatt, check swing, uh, ruled strike one. One ball and one strike to Tigers catcher Liam Hines. Braves a nine to one lead. Fastball, high heater blew it past him one and two. Heavy dose of the heat from Wyatt Hesselman. Came in last inning in relief of Blake Jewett, who came in relief of Jackson Van Donlin and called strike three, two outs for the Tigers in the bottom of the sixth. Mason Bartlett, his first time at the plate. First time at the plate for number five, Mason Bartlett. This pitch from Wyatt is smacked down the right field line, and that's going to draw for a base hit. So two out single for Mason Bartlett in his first at bat. Gives the Tigers a two out base runner. Swinging on the first pitch. We're going to have another new hitter for the Tigers. Batting number 10, first baseman Gas Bruner. Pitch from Wyatt, uh, hard grounder to third. Walters is there, the throw to second, low, but in time. And that will do it for the Tigers. 
A bloop single down the third base line for Mason Bartlett in his first at bat for YC, but no runs. And after five and a half, Banks still well in control with a 9-1 lead. Bottom of the sixth when we return after this from Wana Credit Union. At Wana Credit Union, every individual is unique with different needs, different wants, and different goals. This is who we are. And we live here. Our families live here. Our friends live here. This is our home. Because to us, you're not a number. You're an individual. Want a credit union? Individuals welcome. Leading off the bridge, number 20, Wyatt Jackson. Leading off the bottom of the sixth, number 20, bottom of the order, right fielder, Wyatt Jackson. First pitch to Wyatt is the uh, breaking ball that started up high, didn't miss by much, dropped late as it came across the plate, but apparently still up out of the strike zone for ball one. 1-0 one -oh pitch, uh, low, 2-0. and -oh. Two a pitch to White, low and inside, ball three. And taken all the way for a called strike at the knees, three and one. Three balls and one strike. The pitch from Hacker. Slow grounder back to the pitcher. Throw to first is in time for out number one. Top of the order, number nine, Lane Gilbert. Which is well outside, ball one. Lane batting left-handed, pitches well inside. It's gonna hit his ankle. He's gonna be aboard with a with a one out after being hit by the pitch. Batting for the first time for the Braves, number eight, Lincoln Holscher. First pitch to Lincoln is uh, off the plate outside, ball one. Lincoln appears to also be hitting left-handed. The 1-0 pitch is taken all the way for first strike of the bat. One-one pitch, well inside. Throw back to first. Diving back well in time is Lane Gilbert. Two and one. The count to Lincoln Holscher. Two one pitch, uh, a little bit up and away. Three and one. Three and 
Three balls and one strike to Lincoln Holster, runner at first, Lane Gilbert, runner goes. Pitches outside, and so that will move the runner up anyway after the walk to Lincoln Holster. Still one out. Wyatt Hesselman, the hitter. Shortstop number one, Wyatt Hesselman. First pitch misses low and away, ball one. Base hit could end the could end the game. Still ten run roll in effect in the bottom of the sixth. The pitch is taken up for ball two. Potential game ending run at first. 2-0 pitch, swung on and driven to uh, left, but uh, it will... Oh, he dropped it! And now both runners are going to move up and caught it. And then after he tried to make the transfer out of his glove, dropped it. Now the bases are loaded and a base hit does end the game. But a double play... Also sends us to the seventh. Batting for the Braves for the first time, number 18, Kale Jansen. First pitch, a swung on, hard grounder to short. The underhand a second in time for one, the throw to first not in time. So it's 10 to one Braves, two outs. Runners at the corners for K Long. Batting for the Braves center fielder number four, K Long. So base hit ends the game. One more out ends the sixth for the Braves. Pitch from Hacker. Pitch a swung on. That's oh, incredible stop throw across. Oh, pulls him off the bag, and that's the game. Six innings, final score, Banks 11, M. Hill Carlton 1. Your heroes of the game, Ashton Crossan, with two RBIs, including the first run scored after Lane Gilbert uh, reached second on a walk and a steal to start the game. And then Blake Hewitt with a bases clearing double. Here, there are bases clearing double part of a six run fifth inning. His uh, three RBI double got things started offensively for the Braves in the fifth. But uh, final score for the second straight game Banks 11, Yamil Carlton 1. That will do it for our broadcast. We'll talk to you Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock from Ron Tonkin Field, home of the Hillsborough Hawks, as the Braves. Take on the St. Helens Lions, technically a road game for the Braves. Again, a 1 o'clock first pitch here on Westside's Greatest Hits.com and Utah YouTube. Again, final score in six innings. Banks 11, Amhill Carlton 1. Hope you enjoy the rest of your Wednesday evening. Good night and God bless.